Come on, Kev. I know. I wish you could come too. What's up, dudes? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing Moro Doors. Today, as you can probably see in the title, down below, we're doing some crappie fishing and we're also going to do some cooking and we're running late. So stay tuned. We gotta go. tide weed boots in my truck. Good. And Brady is hooked up with the first one of the day. First one on camera. <laughs> Welcome back dudes. We've been just kind of chilling in this basin. Uh, catching a few crappies here and there. Just in case y'all are curious. This is what we're using. Just tiny little jig heads with weird little plastics and then Bobbers, bobber fishing. But anyways, uh, I think I'm going to, y'all see the title of this video. I think I'm going to keep a couple crappies, probably just like three. I th think that'll be perfect for me and we're gonna go eat them suckers. So stay tuned. Let's catch some more crappies. I don't know, man. I, I just want to catch a fish. <laughs> oh, got one. It's tiny, it. dude. Like, not it. even keeper. Wow. What? That does not look Smallest crappie I've gotten. No, not really. We did it, dudes. GoPro was off, but we got our first keeper. Shoo! Oh! Bobber down. If this is a crappie, it's big. I don't think it's a crappie. It might be a crappie. I don't know. I forgot what they feel like. Dude, I think it's a crappie. Oh, it's horse. a big crappie. Horse. Horse. Where's his grandma? Too big to keep. Ah. Uh, I don't think it's that big. What's that, like 12? 12, yeah. You got a tape? Yeah, bump board in there. Let's see how big it is. All right, got the bump board. If it's under... I'm guessing 11 and a half, 12. It's... Ooh, almost 13, huh? It's almost 13. I'm going to let him go, I think. Yeah. That's good it. one to let go. Yeah, good one to let go. Dang it, though. Looks so tasty. Man, I'm bad on my size there. <sighs> Right? It's been a while since I've measured a crappie. Alright, well, we have to catch more. Oh! See, another nice one. Of course. I know, we need smaller ones. Oh, still too big to keep, probably. Fatties, too. <laughs> what? What's up, dudes? My phone. Dude, I know. Why are they so close right now? What's going on here? No Look at them. Holy cow. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are they doing? I am not sure. They want ends. Like power room. <laughs> 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 a little update, fam. What are we doing, Brett? Some exploring? Scoping. Yep, scoping it out. Scoping out the premises. We used to not be able to come back here, and now we can. It's pretty cool. Dude, it's so nice over here. Spot number two, amigos. We need to really figure something out here. Yep, we're gonna. Or I'm gonna starve to death. Or go to the grocery store on the way home and buy food. <laughs> I got some fish for you. Do you? I'm thawed. Shut up. Oh. There you go. If we don't catch any, Brett's got his covered. Little update. Spot number two. 
bust. So we're doing some more exploring. Yo, that one's, that's a crazy net. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? DNR got nets everywhere on this lake. You catch me two fish, and we can keep doing that, all right? <laughs> oh, 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 that was dude, isn't music awesome? Yeah. I wish we could bump the whole time. I know, dude. R.I.P. DMX. Got oh, you. my God. That's a giant crappie. It's not, we're eating it. It's yeah. not a giant. I seen the back though That's right good away. Eater. <laughs> That's good eater. Did it? Yeah, box him up. I need him. Oh, oh. oh we're gonna cross him. Crappy! <laughs> eater. He's a little little, so if we get one more, yep. I'll take him. It's cool. This one feels nice. Come on this side of you. Yep. Yeah. You're good. Last one. Oh, for sure. I'm, I'll do that. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm dead. Yeah, yeah we're perfect. <laughs> All right, dudes, we have successfully harvested four crappies. Perfect for a little catch and cook, but I think we are going to keep fishing for a little bit, so stay tuned. Go aside. Welcome back. As you can see, we are back at the Fish and More headquarters, and I'm about to start cooking, or I'm going to cut up these fish right now and start cooking them because I'm starving. It's almost five, it's almost five o'clock already, and I haven't ate today. All right, guys, we are getting right into this. This looks like probably the smallest crappie of the day, but for those of you that don't know how to clean crappies, since this is the first crappie video of the spring, I'm going to show you guys how I clean a crappie, and I am using a regular fillet knife today. Usually I use electric, but I figure since I only got four, whoa, I didn't want to mess any of these flays up because sometimes it can get hairy with smaller crappies with the electric fillet knife. But anyways, uh, I cut this slit here. I'm gonna stop here, follow the backbone. Ooh, this knife is not very sharp, but I'm gonna follow the backbone until I get to about here. Then I'm just going to keep my blade level and try to poke it all the way through to right above this fin right here. I don't know what this fin's called, but you want your knife to poke out right above it, just like that. And then just push down, follow the tail, and I go, I go all the way through. A lot of people stop here and then flip the fillet over and do that. Uh, you guys comment, why don't I do that all the time? And I don't know, I just never really did it that way. I've always learned uh, just this way. But anyways, you go till you feel right here. Uh, you can kind of hear it too. You hear all those rib bones. I take my blade, angle it kind of like this and just poke down kind of. You're just breaking through those, uh, what, what would that be, rib bones? Then you just keep kind of going like this, following the rib bones until you get to about here. And then I just angle, and push down kind of, and shebang. Not too bad of a fillet. And then you do literally the same exact thing on this side and yeah, you got yourself a filleted crappie. Anyways, I'm going to get these done really quick. Then I'll get the grease going, and we're going to start cooking these suckers up. All right, y'all. We just got the fish all cleaned, or er, washed off and cleaned. I'm just going to chunk these up now. And we need some fish batter. All right. We got her all chunked up. Next step of this process, I'm just going to pour in probably half of this. I'm just going to do half of this. 
actually just gonna put them all in here. Just get that batter all over these guys. And this is all I'm gonna do. A lot of people usually use like egg washes and stuff. I never do. I, I like it just in the, just straight from washing it, straight into the batter. And I am gonna add one secret ingredient after I wash my hands, just to give this Cajun a little more pop. I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper. I like, I like spicy fish. I like spicy foods, but I definitely like my fish spicy. All right. Let's get these fish into the grease. All right, y'all, so this is what we got going on. We're gonna grab our toast, our very toasted toast. Ooh, that's hot. Next, we're going to take, right here, a little bit of tartar sauce. Oh, just dripped, dripped the tartar sauce. Get a pretty good amount of that on there. Next, we will take our fish. Pile that on there. We should probably flip this really quick. Okay, back to piling our fish on. Next, we're grabbing ourselves a piece of cheese. I'm gonna let this chill for a second. We're just gonna send this in the microwave for like 15 seconds. Gonna check this fish real quick. Anyways, you just wanna get that cheese just a little bit melted. Like that's good. Shebang. Delicious fish sandwich. These pieces are done. And it's time to eat, guys. I'm pumped. And there we have it, y'all. The finished product. Let's go in for, it's a little sloppy, I'm not gonna lie. I got a little carried away with the tartar sauce. Let's go in for the first bite, though. <laughs> it's so good. Ooh, it's hot and spicy. That was a weird noise. Okay, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Pretty fun day. Honestly, the fishing wasn't like crazy or nothing and uh, we did catch more than four fish. Uh, I didn't start filming for like an hour of us fishing. I don't know why, I was just I don't know, we were just out there chilling. But anyways, fishing wasn't that good, but still an awesome day if you can go out and come back with some delicious crappies to make an awesome fish sandwich. Let me know if you guys want to see another crappie catch and cook video. I'm sure I can bust out a few of these before uh, before Minnesota opener. Uh, that's all we can fish for right now is crappies and uh, we can fish for rough fish and stuff too, but for the most part, all we can really fish for is crappies. If y'all wanna see another crappie catch and cook video, let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll do fish tacos next time or I don't know, do something different. Also, huge shout out Brett for taking us out today. Always was an awesome time fishing with cousin Brady. But yeah, I keep trying to end this video and I keep slowly just eating my sandwich. So we're gonna end it here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Damn, shot, dude, y'all, you know what? that I was pointing at I it. had no idea. <laughs>